Greetings. This week, we're talking about the nine marks of a minister of God based on 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 10 and 11, where Paul wrote to Timothy and he said, You have carefully followed my doctrine, manner of life, purpose, faith, long-suffering, love, perseverance, persecutions, afflictions. So he said, he's speaking to this young man, Timothy. He says, Timothy, you've seen all of these things in me. And he mentions these nine marks or traits or characteristics of his own life that attests to him being an anointed minister of God. And so we are examining these nine marks or traits. Today, we look at the second one, which Paul listed. He talked about manner of life. That means how I live my life. And as ministers of God, we must understand that our manner of life must be aligned to what we preach and teach. We can't preach and teach one thing and live totally opposite to that. Our life must back up, must demonstrate, must be, must be an example of the doctrine of the teaching and the preaching. And our preaching and teaching must be aligned or must come out of our manner of life. These are interconnected. And as a person, you and I, as people who want to serve God, who want to honor God in our lives, our manner of life must be something that is worthy of the name of the Lord. To both his young protégés, both Timothy and to Titus, the Apostle Paul emphasized how they should live their lives. First Timothy 4.12, he told Timothy, he said, you know, I want you to be an example to the believers. The same thing he told Titus. In Titus chapter 2 verse 7, he said, In all things, show yourself to be a pattern of good works or an example of good works. And he wanted him, you know, to maintain soundness of speech. So, our manner of life, second mark of a minister of God, an anointed minister of God, a manner of life, how you live life, be an example. Let it, let it exemplify what the Word of God teaches. Let people see that in our lives. May you, may I, in our manner of life, show that we are true ministers of God. Let's pray. Father, we ask that the way we live lives will be a demonstration of what we believe, of what you've taught us, what the Word of God teaches, that God, we will live according to your standards and not compromise. And may our life be an example. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.